so next up we've got uh, Jane Slaughter, who's uh, uh, from Labour Notes, which is a US uh, network of rank and file trade unionists, who's going to speak about the Michigan auto workers and Detroit uh, bus drivers. I'm proud that our bus drivers in Detroit uh, were among the very first that we know about to strike for their safety. This is 550 workers, almost all of them African American. March 17th, nine days ago, uh, early in the morning, they gathered at their bus terminals. They said they weren't going to work without safety precautions. Um, and there was no bus service in Detroit for the, the whole day. They called their union leaders to come, they called the mayor, and by later that day, they had won all their demands. And that included free service for the duration of the virus and passengers using the back doors to come in and go out in order to minimize contact, uh, and a lot more cleaning, places to use the bathroom and wash their hands because restaurants had just been shut down uh, in Detroit or actually in the whole state. Um, so that was a, a complete victory and it came totally from the rank and file, although it was supported by their leaders. And since then, some other drivers have done similarly in Alabama, uh, garbage truck workers in Pittsburgh uh, with the same sorts of demands. And of course, these are all what we call essential workers. Then the, the next day, March 18th, um, the big three auto companies, Ford, GM, and Fiat Chrysler, announced that they were going to shut down all their plants. This came immediately after three short wildcat strikes at three different Chrysler plants in the Detroit area. Um, to, to speak about one of them, uh, word got out that a case was confirmed. They found out on Facebook and through the media, not through their union or through the company. Uh, so on the evening shift, one group refused to come back to work after their break, and management ended up uh, having to send everybody home. The next day, people did come into work um, at 5 o'clock in the morning, as usual, but and they came into the plant, but they refused to actually work on the line. They refused to actually um, touch any of the trucks. And after three hours, management gave up and sent them home. And it was the next day that uh, production was shut down for all, all of the big three. Um, wanted to mention that these are jobs where people are not, they're not stationary. They're, they're all touching the same truck. Uh, it's, it was very unsafe. Most shameful of all, today, Ford Motor Company announced that it was going to op uh, open up again, April 6th in Mexico and April 14th here in the U.S. Um, I don't think it's going to happen because the pandemic is going to be so serious that it'll be obvious, but this just shows their greed. Uh, I'll encourage everybody to keep up with um, events in the U.S., to look at the website labornotes.org. Um, and uh, we will, we're publishing lots and lots and lots. You'll be able to find out what's going on in the US.